I am so excited to see you again. Today, we get to talk about how God's love draws in or invites in people who are left out. This is a great reason to worship God. Have you ever felt left out before? Have you ever wanted to belong, but just kind of felt like you didn't? Maybe it felt like you were on the outside, or maybe you felt lonely. I don't think anyone likes to feel lonely or left out, do you? So often I start our lesson with a question about what something means, because sometimes the Bible uses some pretty big words, and we want to make sure that we understand them. Today's lesson is pretty easy to understand, but sometimes it can be kind of hard to believe. We all want to belong, to feel like we fit somewhere. But a lot of things can make us feel like we don't. Maybe you felt like you're not popular enough or smart enough or pretty enough or maybe not good enough at sports or a certain activity. Maybe you just felt like you're just not enough in general. Sometimes we can feel like we don't belong, not because we're not enough, but because we're too much, too loud, too silly, too antsy or distractible, maybe too crazy or even too quiet or too shy. Maybe you felt like your emotions were just too big or your hair was too big or your glasses or your teeth were too big. Fortunately, we are never too much or too little of anything for God. He always wants us in his family. 1 Timothy 2, 4 through 6 says that God wants all people to be saved and he wants everyone to know the truth. It continues that there's only one God and there's only one way that people can reach God. And that way is through Jesus Christ, who was also a man. It says Jesus gave himself to pay for the sins of all people. That Jesus is proof that God wants all people to be saved. And that proof came just at the right time. On our own and all by ourselves, our fears that we're not good enough are true. We could never try hard enough to be good enough to reach God's standard. We do have too much sin and selfishness and brokenness, but when we believe and trust Jesus that he paid for our sins so we could be part of God's family, it means no matter what, we belong to God's family. And no one can take that away or make it untrue. Jesus tells us that in John 10, 27 and 10, 20, and 10, 28. Listen to what he says here. He says, my sheep listen to my voice. I know them and they follow me. I give them eternal life and they will never perish. No one can snatch them out of my hand. Is it really that easy? Yes. Jesus knew what it was like to feel unwanted and rejection, rejected. He put up with more suffering and pain than most of us will ever be able to imagine. So when we're in God's family, he tells us that we are all one in Christ Jesus, that there is nothing that puts anyone above or below anyone else. Why? Because we are his. Take a look at this cup. I'm not even going to touch it because it is so full. I think it is completely full. If I even try to pick it up, it's going to spill. It looks like there's no room for anything else, right? 
But even in the family of God, when it looks like God's family is already full, like he's got enough people, even when it looks like there might be better people who are there already, God still has room for you. He has room for the popular and the unpopular, the smart and those who might feel like they are not so smart. He has room for the pretty and people who feel like they're not pretty enough. He has room for those who just feel like they're just not good enough. And those are who are too loud or too antsy, too distractible, or maybe have too big of glasses or hair or teeth. He has room for the people who have big emotions and for those who don't like expressing their emotions at all. He has room for the quiet and the loud. He has room for everyone. He has room for you with Jesus. You always belong. You are loved, sweet friends. Have a great week.